gonna be living underwater for 24 hours. They do some crazy things, these Dobre brothers. They're four brothers from Maryland who've been posting their playful stunts, pranks, original music on YouTube with more than five billion, is it five or six? Five. Five billion views to date. You know what, why don't we have them here? They, we only take people with 10 billion views to date. Oh, oh please. <laughs> you know, I, I was looking at some of your videos on your really? YouTube channel. I mean, the stuff you used to do in the grocery stores. Yeah. Can you imagine going shopping at a grocery store and all of a sudden people start break dancing in the dairy no, aisle? No, but I think they're gonna break dance on our show. So the music has positive message. Um, they're on a tour. They're gonna be kicking it off in Jersey. Jersey City. Should we um, introduce ourselves? All right, well, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Lucas. I'm Marcus. And I'm Cyrus. And I'm Darius. And we are the Dober Brothers, and we do backflips. We do backflips. Wait, now you guys are the twins? Yeah. You don't look, do they look alike? Yes. Yeah, we're fraternal. How can you not see they're that? I, yeah. Well, yeah, there's something, I guess, that they look like brothers. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but another thing you need to know about them, and another reason you should buy tickets to their show, I think it's tonight in Jersey City, this weekend? I can't remember. Yeah, next weekend. Next weekend. Yeah. Uh, they, w These guys are really, really standing up against bullying and positive messages, and so we thank you for doing that. That's really cool. Whose idea was that? How did you guys get involved with this? So um, we all were about it. We just wanted to be a positive, have a positive impact on the youth. Um, but we created the song Stop That and we've done many, we've collabed with many different companies to uh, spread the message, the positive message. So that's what we're all about. Do you know that song Stop That? Can we hear a little bit? Can you guys? Uh... <laughs> if you ain't good enough, stop that. Think you ain't beautiful, stop that. Give me people love, don't stop that. Give me love, stop that. Stop that. Do what you love. So it's like a rap video, kind of. A little yeah, bit. it's just a positive message throughout the whole thing uh, to keep people going. Positive thoughts keep you going, negative thoughts keep you back. So we just want to keep everyone positive. Yeah, bullying is such a major, major issue, especially. I can't imagine what it's like being a parent and you find out your kids are being bullied. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everyone, do what you can, including the Dobry Brothers. And maybe you'll stop bullying me one day. Please. Uh, <laughs> it's awful. You should see the things she does. So, who came up with the prankster idea? Because you guys, I mean, uh, six billion view, almost six billion views. That's yeah. we all um, kind of brainstorm together. Brainstorming is really important for what we do. We sit together. Sometimes we'll have team meetings, and we just you know we use the resources we have around us, and we like literally put them in our videos and incorporate everything together, and try to just integrate it to you know emphasize the most fan engagement. <laughs> yeah, it that. seems to be working. <laughs> but no, wait, okay, so you're going to actually start spinning on the floor. You're not going to kick us in the head or anything. Right? Hopefully not. We might kick hopefully, hopefully not. Stand back. <laughs> Who's the best dancer in the group? Uh, I'll say Cyrus. Really? Yeah. That's I nice. All, I think we're all strong in our own way. Yeah. Okay. We all kind but of have you. yeah, we all kind of have like different styles yeah. of dance um but we're gonna show you guys in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, ready, you can show so. us now, and then maybe Elvis wants to try one. No, of no, 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 you don't wanna see that. You sure? <laughs> I don't you wanna, wanna break a hip. No, no, no. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see what you can do. Can we do this? Yes, Is that right? let's do it. All right. We, all right. Music. we brought a floor. Hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Clean. Hey, hey. Let's go. Can you do that? Let's go. Let's go. No hand, you want. <laughs> hey. Oh, I like his voice. I keep it grinding 100. I don't do no stopping. Let's go. Awesome. Watch me. Yes. Hey, All right, get the twins out there. Hey. Uh oh, you're coming close. Be careful. Oh, oh, oh shake the booty. Shake the booty. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Hey, That's going to hurt when you, <laughs> when you miss that. Three months shy. Oh, I want to chill. Said it's been too long. I'm going to stay. Hey. Ooh. Go. Awesome. I mean, right, no, you're no, 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 no. Now, your hey. parents. Now, how many dishes and things have you broken in your living room? I mean, <laughs> about 20,000. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so how are the parents involved? Because maybe you guys started off as viners, right? Yeah. So when you were doing that stuff, did your parents understand what you were doing and where it would go? Um, at the time, I don't think any of us did. Um, it was just like in the beginning of the social media burst, and we never would have thought it would have exploded this big, honestly. We're honestly going with the flow. Uh, Lucas and Mars can tell you more about their pranks uh, on their on our parents. Um, oh, what did yeah. you do to your parents? <laughs> we made our parents cry. Like sometimes <laughs> we made our parents cry. Yeah. And they're laughing Some of the about pranks it. Were too extreme. What? Give us one prank that you pulled on your parents. Um, I think one time we put like 10,000 mouse traps um, in the living room and they couldn't walk. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. You would be punished for the rest of your life <laughs> if you were my kid. I'd be afraid to be your parent, gotta be honest. <laughs> well, at least you're turning it into the positive messaging in your music and, and you know, so with the show coming up next weekend in Jersey City, uh, we remind people if you're, you're fans of uh, the Dobre Brothers, you, you gotta get tickets. Get your tickets. DobreTour.com. Yeah. So what do you guys do on your tour? So this tour, we're gonna be doing a lot of audience engagement, bringing them on stage with us, dancing, singing, and we're gonna do all our songs, and we're also gonna be competing against each other yep. in different contests, so it's gonna be really entertaining. Really, like what yeah. kind of contest? Uh, you'll have to see. You'll oh, have to see. we have to come. But I would think, since you're brothers, you seem to be getting along really well, but there's gotta be, there's gotta be that sibling rivalry in the house. I mean, you you get along. It's not, well, then look at the, something tells we me it's split the, them up for a reason. It's, it's the twins against the older guys. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it is like well, it's not really. It's it's kind of more like we have disagreements sometimes, but that's what makes us better and stronger. And we come together with the just grand idea at the end of the day, and that's why everything works out. So, who's the boss? All of us are the boss. Yeah, we're all kind of our bosses in our own way. Um, I, I personally think that I'm the boss of all of them. Because um, you're the oldest? Uh, I'm the one that wakes everyone up in the morning, so. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we all just play different roles in what we do. Um, for example, Marcus will help us out with a video idea one day. If, if, if we're kind of struggling, Lucas might go out and get us some Starbucks to wake up a little bit. So we just all chip in and help each other out. So you actually like each other. I mean, I know that's a stupid question, but a lot of people I know in families, with each other, they don't like each other. I mean, they, they tolerate each other. Yeah. But you get along. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that, you know, made us who we are today and brought all the success that we're lucky enough to have because we love each other, we get along, and, you know, we're showing people that family and love is, like, the root of everything. It's I the foundation, this. so. So where do you think you see this going? I mean, I, you guys are doing really well now, but I'm just, like, what's the career path? For those of us who, like, grew up with, like, when you get older, you're going to be a lawyer, a doctor, a TV journalist, a radio host. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, we need advice. One day we're going to get real jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so the race is on, you know. Do you, but do you consider this a real job? Yes. Yeah. It's, 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 it's because a career. You're, a career. More it's a of career. More career. We, well, we good for you career. guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. Well, Absolutely. It's so nice to meet you, you all. Too. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and tickets still available for the tour in Jersey? Yep. yep. Dobretour.com. You guys going to come? Uh, if, if, if you get free tickets. If, I mean. if, <laughs> if you promise that Elvis can get up there and break dance. No, 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 no. You get a free ticket if you break dance up there. See, when you break Come dance, on, you, show me how you dance. No, when you break dance, you break dance. When I break dance, I break things. I break <laughs> bones. I break femurs. Yeah, we can't have that. He's getting married soon. All right, yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you all. Well, Continue. Congratulations, success. guys. All right.